Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm guys another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. It is time for the post game, ladies and gentlemen. Our bugs are ready to go, and we are ready to do it. And I'm so excited, guys. If you missed the last one, you can check it out on the channel as we took on the Elite Four and Cynthia. And I was kind of debating on what I wanted to do for the post game, whether I was going to do it, whether I was going to jump into it. And I've decided that I'm going to actually continue the Nuzlocke as it is. With the Pokemon we have, we have Luck with one life, Redemption with three lives, Bermadette with two lives, and I did a couple little things in between, and full disclosure, I'm just gonna make this like obvious. I recorded the bug lock up to where we were before uh, a while ago. It's It's been, you know, uh, about two weeks or so since I actually recorded. So we're jumping back into it. There's a lot of bugs. I have a list of the bugs that I can get. Butterfree, Parasect, Venomoth, Letian, Ariados, Yanma, Yanmega, Fortress, Shuckle, Surskit, Ninkata, Volbeat, Illumise, and Anareeth and Armaldo. We have a lot of bugs that we can actually get. I did a little bit of stuff in between episodes, so we're going to show some of those clips. Basically, me doing the, the Lake Trio real quick, me grabbing my Poke Radar, heading to go see Buck in the New Island. But otherwise, I'm going to head to the Underground, and we're going to start getting some stuff. So let's roll those clips, and then let's jump into it. So I'm really close to finishing my Pokedex. In fact, the only three things I need left are these little guys here. I'm so sorry, Mesprit. Wait, he flew off somewhere. Where, where'd you fly off to? I need your Pokedex entry. I don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. But having my mysteries that adds to my enjoyment. Why don't you chase after Mesprit? It seemed like he wanted to play with you. If you were to use the marking app on your Pokedex, you might be able to track the movements. You don't have the marking app? Oh, man. Wait, I thought this was going to be easy. Like, I was just trying to fill some Dex pages real quick. Come on. There's the Marking Map Pokecatch app. Thank you. Let's see if Uxie will stay put this time. Okay, so Uxie stays put. Now, I know, again, this is much like the Dialga situation. I know some people are going to be like, Hey, Drop, you got to catch him. It's a bug playthrough, man. I just need their dex pages. So I'm not super concerned. Locke, what level is this thing? I should just be able to beat him. Level 50. Yeah, let's just bug buzz him. I'm going to just knock these things out. You guys already know we're doing the shiny only playthrough too, so we'll we'll probably hunt these on my other copy. But on the bug playthrough, I'm not too concerned about them. I'm just trying to fill these dex pages. See you later, Rixie. Yo, Azelf. You ready to get destroyed, dog? Yeah, buddy. You're about to get obliterated. I gotta say, the lake theme is very clean, though. It sounds amazing. It really does sound amazing, but yeah, this little guy, he's, he's not going to have a good time against me. Sorry, Azelf. We just click Bug Buzz. See you later, buddy. Goodbye. Just got to find one more of them. Okay, I think I'm on the same route as Mesper now. I think. There it is. That's the legendary music, and there is the final of the legendaries, Mesper. And this should be my last dex page that I'm looking for, so I can go talk to Professor Oak. And uh, snag the Pokey Radar. Goodbye, little Mesprits. Until next time. See you later. And there it is, 150 out of 150. Let's go. Now this guy told us to come back in post game. My name is Morimoto. I've got faith in your skill. Care to join me in a match? No, thank you. Not right now. <laughs> and this guy hooks me up with the DS sounds, which is pretty sick. So now you can change uh, to the old school sounds. And this guy's gonna hook me up with the catching charm, which is pretty dope. And this is Masuda. Who's gonna give me the document that I completed the Pokedex? Thanks, Masuda. Do you wanna set sail to the battle zone? Let's get it. Hey, Drive, what took you so long? I'm finding you 100 million. I'm gonna be the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here to toughen up. Hey, sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that, but the greatest trainer ever? That's gonna be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to the volcano. You don't really know anything. I'll tell you, this is the battle zone. At the far end is a volcano, and deep inside, there's supposed to be a treasure. So what's the big deal? If I find the treasure first, does that make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do, A-Drive. And you too, stranger. That treasure's mine. Before that, I'm going to the battle tower. That guy just can't stay put, can he? Anyway, I'm Buck, and if that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity dippity trainer? You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. You better shape up at the battle tower first. I'll be seeing you. All right. Oh my gosh, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. I guess I gotta show my Pokedex to Rowan. Yo, Rowan, I finished my Pokedex, bro. 
You've recorded all the Pokemon! Oh, it's Oak! Greetings, Professor! Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto! My old colleague, Professor Oak. Let me introduce you to my young assistant. He's filled every page in the Sinnoh decks. Ah, yes. You also have an impeccable sense of timing. And now I can give you the National Dex! Let's go! It won't be easy to complete the National Dex, however you'll make an honest attempt. I've heard that Ramanaz Park is now open! Ah, yes, at 221, or 222. 221, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. See ya! Hey, see you later, bro. Now, A-Drive, I have a gift as a reward for completing the Pokedex. The Pokey Radar! That's what we're looking for, baby! That's the Pokey Radar. Use it and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. I'd repair that to help my field assistants to put together the Sinnoh Pokedex, but you took care of that. Thank you very much. Who's coming from the underground? Oh, it's Rourke! Hey there, it's been a while. I heard you defeated the Elite Four and under the Hall of Fame I rushed here. All the other gym leaders are happy too. But the gym leaders aren't gonna take this lying down. Losing to you is rough on all of us, and we still have our pride as the Sinnoh's gym leader, so we're all determined to beat you. Could you give us another Pokemon battle? We'll be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me. Ooh, rematches. You gotta love that. Have I ever chatted with your kid's sister? I don't know, have I? Hey, A-Drive, there was some news saying there was a massive outbreak of Pokemon. They'd be great for filling your Pokedex. Ah, this is Ramanas Park. It's also connected to the Grand Underground. Exploring down there might reveal new treasures. It's good to see you come join us. Let me make this gift of a chain counter for your Poketch. Thank you very much for that, Professor Oak. I'll see you in a turn, bro. Yo, Shiny Patch! Let's go! Only a 28 chain! My first Shiny in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And here it is! Shiny Silcoon! Look at that beauty! Let's go! That is how you Pokey Radar, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Showing how you do it right here, right now. Let's get it. And how about that? A beautiful throwback to one of my OG Shinies, Amethyst. Going all the way back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Amethyst, the beautiful Beautifly, is gonna be added. Let's go. And another one! Oh, baby! Let's go! Another shiny patch, just two patches away. Let's get it, dude. We're on fire. We're on fire. <laughs> two shinies and Pokey Radar. And Amethyst is evolving, which is wonderful. I kind of forgot this was in my party, but we have a shiny, beautiful Beautifly to replace Bonnie, of course, or work with Bonnie in, in tandem. And there it is. Oh, it's so good. It's so good with that gold, man. I really like this shiny, to be honest. This is a phenomenal shiny. Let's go. While I was filming that Pokey Radar guide, I actually ended up getting a shiny Amethyst as well, which is pretty dope. Uh, I'm not quite sure I'm going to use it because we obviously have Bonnie. We've got Beyonce. We've got Venomax. And then, of course, we have our fallen friends who I've decided that I'm not going to be using moving forward. But we've got some bugs here. And again, I need to head to the underground because there's a ton of bugs that I could potentially get to add to this team. So let me make sure I have net balls, and then I'm gonna head down to the underground and uh, snag some sweet Pokemon. All right, so to the underground we go. I've got a lot to try to find, a lot of bug types to try to find. So we're gonna be poking around. As always, you know I'm gonna plug it. Head over to TeamShiny.com and pick up some sweet Team Shiny t-shirts. We got some amazing stuff there. Maybe this is a grass biome, it's not. So probably not gonna find any bug types in here. Uh, there's, there's a Venomax, but. I'm gonna have to try to find the proper like foresty type biome and I also need to find a water biome I think to find the Pokemon I'm looking for and I'm also gonna have to do some digging because I need to get the fossil at some point Which that one's gonna be a whole nother story getting that fossil, but let's look around I'll see what I can find. I don't necessarily need to catch every single bug type right now um, I just need to catch you know a few so that way we can kind of get a team together for Roark Ah, this is what I'm looking for this forest here should be teaming with bug Pokemon like that Ariados. So let's see if we can catch that thing. All right, here is our first on the list Ariados, which actually can be super good, right? Like this thing gets sticky web. It's got some really cool moves. Obviously, I'm gonna have to find some hard scales and do some shenanigans like that. But let's see what level it is in post game. It is level 59. So that's actually good because then I don't have to spend 
a tremendous amount of time trying to train it up. I'm just gonna throw a netball at it and see if it works. I mean, I just stocked up on netballs. Maybe I'll get pretty lucky and won't have to spend a ton of time, you know, weakening these things, but let's see. And we catch it right out the gates. Off our list is Ariados, and let's see what we're gonna name this thing and get it started on the squad. A little bit of levels there for Bermadette. We got some training to do. Here is Ariados, and let's give it a nickname. It is a male, so I'm gonna name it Aragog, of course, from Harry Potter. Aragog is here, baby. Now, Aragog is, of course, the king of spiders and is a very toxic personality. Does not like to hang out with the other bugs, of course, but let me tell you, loves to trap opposing Pokemon in his web. And it's got Sticky Web, Cross Poison, Poison Jab, Baton Pass, very solid stuff right now. And it looks like it has a plus defense minus speed nature, which is pretty bad, but it won't be able to fall asleep. So not too shabby there for Aragog. Let's see what else we can find. And there's our second bug type of the day, which is gonna be our little Volbeat. This thing actually could be really good. Uh, Volbeat obviously gets Tail Glow, allowing him to set up and get massive special attack boost with the right offensive uh, move pool. It might not be terrible, honestly. So let's chuck a net ball at it and see if we can catch it. Okay, so that definitely didn't work. I gotta weaken it. All right, so we were able to catch this thing, no problem. Took me a little bit of time, but this is gonna be our friend Light Bright here. Actually, I'm sorry, this is Romeo, my bad. This is Romeo. We got Romeo on the squad. And Romeo is looking for his forever Juliet. And the funniest thing about Romeo is Romeo thinks he's an electric type. He's not. He thinks he's an electric type, but he's actually not an electric type. So my dude over here, he's trying to use electric type moves, loves using electric type moves, but again, he's not an electric type. He has infestation, play rough, baton pass, and has a plus attack, minus speed nature, which is brave and swarm. Nothing too crazy there, but Romeo, Romeo added to the squad. Let's see what else we can find. And there is Lightbright the Venomoth. That's who I was looking for before. Venomoth, another bug type Pokemon to add to the squad. This thing is really, really cool with Sleep Powder and Quiver Dance. A lot of cool options we can utilize here. So this will be Lightbright, but I gotta weaken it first. So let me uh, chip it down a little bit. Hopefully don't knock it out and then we can catch it. All right, Venomoth was caught and this is Lightbright. Like I said, got my got my names a little, little backwards here. Now, to give you guys a little rundown on Lightbright here, Lightbright loves to hang out with Romeo. The problem is, again, Romeo is so focused in on finding his Juliet, and this is simply not his Juliet. But this is Lightbright, of course. Best friends with our Aragog, of course. The poison types, they love hanging out together. There's a Trico chasing me, and there is Messel! Hold on, I gotta finish about Lightbright real quick. And Lightbright is very scared of Redemption. Does have the Shed Shell, which is kind of cool. Very scared of Redemption. Uh, has Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, Psychic, very cool stuff. And has a minus special type nature in favor of positive speed. So that's pretty bad, but that's okay. And here is Messel, another bug! Added to the squad, Messel! And Messel, you already know about Messel. Do I even need an introduction? But Messel is indestructible as a bug type Pokemon. Messel has never actually been knocked out because he's got such incredible defenses. Isn't a big fan of battling though. Generally tries to sit on the sidelines and cheer for the squad. But let me tell you, in a pinch, this thing could come out and put in some work. Absolutely loves berries as well. Messel, I'm gonna add you to the party. We're gonna finalize our party here in a little bit once I catch all the bugs. But let's take a look at Messel and see what we got here. Hopefully he'll be uh, pretty, pretty awesome. He's got a ju berry juice already, as I told you. Loves them berry juices. He has Sticky Web already and Knock Off. Massive pickups here. And has a neutral nature with Gluttony, which allows him to activate those berries much sooner than other Pokemon would. And there's an Encada. Oh, baby! It's time for the duo. The two-time. This has been a good, this has been a good den for me. The two-time. Nincada being added, and for those who don't know, for those who don't know about Nincada, oh my gosh, this is a two-piece. This is gonna be the homie Genji, the Ninjask, and of course, Spectre, the Shininja. So let me catch this thing and I'll give you guys the rundown on that duo, because they are one of the same, but they are two very different Pokemon. So this is Genji, the Nincada here, and I know you might be a little underwhelmed right now with Genji, but let me tell you, this is going to turn into the fastest 
Pokemon in the world. You guys aren't even ready for it. Oh, look at that! We found him! Another one of the legendary Bug Squad being added to the team. We got Fun Guy, or will it be Fun Gal? I don't know, let's find out. It is... It's Fun Guy! Your boy Fun Guy! Let me tell you about Fun Guy, ladies and gentlemen. This is the funniest Paris, soon to be Parasect in all the land. This dude loves to do stand-up comedy or sit-down comedy in his case because he's just so funny. Loves hanging out in the rain, loves water. Let me tell you, wanted to be a firefighter because of how much it put it around water all the time, but then it realized it needed to be around fire in that situation and it wasn't a good fit. But ultimately, ultimately fun guy is the jokester of the team, loves to crack some jokes and again, loves a good rain dance. All right, here is little fun guy with Rage Powder, X Scissor, Aromatherapy, and Fell Stinger. Definitely gonna have to upgrade those moves. And again, has that dry skin. And a little something special for you guys. Fun guy wanted to do a little comedy skit for you. And he says, have you guys heard about the restaurant on the moon? It's got great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> All right, fun guy, that's gonna be enough for now. Hey, another one. We found a Ledian. Which you love to see. Now, Ledian, you know, not the strongest of bug types, but one of the coolest designs and has its name as an anagram for my name, which is Daniel. So let's catch this thing. All right, we caught Ledian, no problemo. And let me tell you, this is Aster, of course, because of the stars on its back, the five star Pokemon, I believe. And a couple little fun facts about Aster for those who don't know loves to box, loves to get some practice in against Redemption, training up, getting a little bit of levels action there. Loves to juggle as well, one of the best jugglers in the world. In fact, once was in a circus where it did some juggling. Tailwind, Bug Buzz, Air Slash, Double Edge. This thing has early bird and a neutral nature, of course. And the craziest thing is you see Aster's got four hands. Aster was known to chug four G Fuels at one time. All of which were Shiny Splash, of course. I don't recommend that unless you're Aster. But ultimately, Aster chugged four G Fuels at once. The legends are true. And Aster's ready to chug some G Fuel, box a little bit, and throw down. Rest in peace, Sterling, by the way. This is sad. Ah, oh, there it is, dude. I've been looking for this guy for like 15 minutes. And there is the wall nut. I just realized, though, he might try to explode. Which would be very sad. <laughs> All right, luckily that first toss net ball did what I needed to do. And we can add Walnut to the squad. And Walnut is an incredibly important member of this team and the bug squad. And the thing is, this is one of the few Pokemon, the few bug Pokemon that Redemption actually respects because he is gonna become a Steel type Pokemon as well. And that's something that's very, very important to Redemption. This is the defensive backbone of the team. But the thing about Walnut is we have to keep him in check because he always wants to explode. Every time he gets a chance, he wants to blow up. And I'm like, bro, this is a Nuzlocke. We can't just be blowing up on stuff. And he really doesn't care. So we're going to have to navigate that. And Walnut actually has an incredible nature, uh, a brave nature, which is pretty good. We take those. Fun fact, easy place to find a lucky egg. You can do it here in the underground. And it looks like Walnut is indeed evolving into a powerful Fortress. Let's go, baby. I still got some training to do here in the underground, but we're getting there and this team is gonna be fancy as we're gonna do the gym leader rematches. Walnut, baby, let's go. This, this thing is gonna be sick, guys. This thing is gonna be sick. And now it's time for Genji to evolve into a beautiful, beautiful ninjas. The fastest Pokemon on the planet. You already know about it. Loves to race other bug types. And of course, just doesn't have a soul, man. Doesn't have a soul. This is Spectre. After getting, obviously, Genji evolved, Spectre has appeared our secret weapon as we re-challenge the gym leaders here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. Let me tell you, this thing loves to just casually steal the souls of other Pokemon as we walk on by and it doesn't like fire, darkness, or really anything that can knock it out. All right, it's time to finally show off the squad here. I gotta heal them up, but we've got Redemption rocking with the standard set. You already know about it. Walnut's got Toxic Spikes, Gyro Ball, Rapid Spin, Volt Switch. We've got Bermadette, of course, same as always. Messel's got Struggle Bug, Sticky Wig, Power Slip, Power Split, and Knock Off uh, with the Quick Claw. Light Bright's got that wi wide lens to hit those Sleep Powders, Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, and Genji makes it to the team with the Bright Powder 
with Double Team, Dig, X Scissor, and Night Slash. That is your squad. Let's get ready for the rematch against Rourke. Seems like our journey started here not that long ago with Sterling. Let's do it. You actually came. Welcome once more to Orberg Gym. Ever since the day I lost to you, I've been rethinking everything I know about the strengths and weaknesses of Rock-type Pokemon over and over and over, and then it hit me. Rock-type Pokemon are simply the best. Let's do it, baby! Gym battle rematches Bug-type squad. Let's go, Rourke. Let's see what you got for me. Six Mons! And let's see what kind of heavy lift he's gonna do. He's gonna send down a Tyranitar to kick things off. Now, my plan here is simple. Set up a Swords Dance and Sweep. That is my hope, because all of his Pokemon should be weak to Redemption. And Redemption's never lost a fight. So, let's do it, baby. He's level 68. I'm clicking Swords Dance. I'm faster, which is great. Let's click those swords together. And let's see if Redemption can sweep my man Roark. He's going to go for Ro How are you going to go for Roar, dog? How is that the play? Into Light Bright. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay, well, different strategy. I'm gonna Sleep Powder and not miss. I missed. And he's gonna Stone Edge! Light Bright! Oh no, dude, already! Already it goes so bad! All right, well, I guess I'm doing the same thing again. I'm going into Redemption. But I'm not sure if this is, an, I, if it's just gonna roar me, then I might as well just rock smash and maybe I'll just one shot him. I can't believe he legit clicked roar. I don't even one shot, which is super annoying. And now he goes for stealth rock. My dude doesn't even click roar this time. I feel like the game knows that you click uh, swords dance there. So I'll knock out the Tyranitar, but not how I wanted things to start against roar. This is gonna be really, really hard. Um, yeah, if I was boosted, then it's another thing. Here comes a Relicanth. Bro, what do you do against a Relicanth? I feel like I just honestly click Rock Smash and just keep Rock Smashing him. It's probably my best bet. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Rock Smash him. And maybe it's, a t it's not even a two shot. That's not even a two shot. I get a defense drop. That's actually pretty big. He's gonna head smash and he misses! Redemption dodges the head smash. Okay. I think I just click rock smash again, to be honest. He got a defense drop. He already missed a head smash. I get him pretty weak. Miss another one. Miss, miss, miss. Another defense drop, which is huge. Miss, please. Miss. He hits. This is gonna hurt. Does it ever hurt? Oh my God, that was wild. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of this thing, and that's two down, but I just lost pretty much my best way to deal with this team, because uh, I need to heal up. So, I need to get, here comes an Aerodactyl. Um, uh, Stealth Rocks are up, so I, I need to like 100% heal here, I think. Um, or I go Walnut, and then heal Redemption is probably the play. So let's do that. Let's go Walnut. Walnut should be strong enough to like live a hit from an Aerodactyl. And maybe even two hits. And Gyro Ball is going to be really strong here. So let's see. I take Stealth Rock. Here comes Stone Edge. He hits it. Let's see how much this does. It was a crit. It was a crit. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal. I'm going to full restore Walnut for my first potion in hopes that I can live two stone edges or that he misses one of them. And then he's gonna stone edge. He misses, which is huge. Walnut does amazing things. And now I can use my second potion on redemption. And all I need Walnut to do here is just not die to two stone edges basically, which would be swell. That's really good. Okay, so I have two options. I gyro ball him down, which may knock him out. I have three options. I can set up Toxic Spikes, or I can take a hit, Volt Switch out, and get into my Redemption to be able to hit him again. Toxic Spikes seems very, very appealing, but I think the play here is you Volt Switch out, get Redemption in for free, and then you Bullet Punch and knock out the Aerodactyl. Because I'm not convinced Gyro Ball knocks him out, so I'm going to Volt Switch. 
Here comes the stone edge. He hits. No crits. Walnut taking hits like a champ. Gets the volt switch off. And that does good damage. That's actually, I think, good enough for bullet punch. Because he's not going to be, like, that bulky. The problem is every Pokemon is taking so much damage from Stealth Rock now. That makes this very hard. Okay. Um, we are going to bullet punch. I hope it's enough. I'm Iron Plate. It's enough. Okay. Aerodactyl's down. That was big. That was big. That crit was kind of annoying, but we got rid of that. Redemption doing big things. Here comes Armaldo. Um, I kind of want a sword stance. And then bullet punch. I mean, is Armaldo going to two-shot me? Do I have a better way to deal with Armaldo? Probably not, right? Like... Me switching out here is probably not going to be do... It's not going to do me any favors, I think, if I switch out. So I think the play is I... Swords Dance Bullet Punch. I do still have another potion if I need it. Let's see what this Armaldo is going to do. Stone Edge. Redemption dodges it again! Oh my gosh, it's amazing. We're clicking Bullet Punch. I hope this is a 2 at KO. Okay! That must have been a fully offensive Armaldo. Goodbye! Probo Pass! Alright, this thing's a little sketchy. We're going to Rock Smash. Because that's four times super offended. This probably just knocks him out. Does he have Sturdy? Bro, he's got a Focus Sash! Get out of here with that! And he goes for Power Gem. Okay, I should live this though, no problem. Ooh, that does a lot. Okay. All right, my play here is I just rock smash again, I think, because I'm faster. All right, I think he only has one left. I think he only has one Pokemon left. What is that Pokemon? Let's find out. Oh, I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be Rampardos. Here comes my trump card, the strength of rock types, Rampardos. Okay, level 72. Does a plus two bullet punch one shot Rampardos? We're about to find out. Redemption! Goodbye! The bug types clutch up against the rock type rematch. Rourke. And our first rematch is done, baby. Let's go. Woo! That is what I'm talking about. I gotta hand it to you. I gave that battle all I had, but you beat me fair and square. Here's the sticker, stone sticker A, and that is that. Oh my goodness. What a win, team. What a win. I hope you guys enjoyed the bug lock being back for the post game. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you guys on the next episode of the bug lock as we take on Gardenia, and, and maybe another one. Maybe, maybe we do Maylene too. I don't know. Depends on how things go, but I'll see you guys then. Peace.